and beer. First, we start with Susan Jordan's funeral, the hero principal at Amy Beverland Elementary School in Lawrence for 22 years. Jordan died earlier this week on Tuesday when a school bus lurched forward into a group of kids, hitting and killing her. But not before she jumped forward, pushing several students out of the bus's way, saving some of the many students she loved in her last act. RTV6's Liz Adiola is live outside of St. Luke's United Methodist Church with how the community is remembering Principal Jordan tonight. Liz. Well, according to the church staff, at least one of the students that Susan Jordan risked her life and sacrificed her life to save was here in attendance today at her funeral. That student sat in the second row in a wheelchair with her leg bandaged. She was one of many students, one of many children that sat in the pews today here at St. Luke's United Methodist Church. Their small hands clinging to tissues in their parents' hands as they tried to process the loss of their hero, Principal Susan Jordan. More than a thousand people came out today to pay their respects, including Mayor Joe Hogsett and State Representative jo John Bartlett. It was a memorial service that continued Jordan's life's work of teaching. Here's what some of the people who loved and knew Susan had to say about her. If Susan were here, I think she would say we should commit to fiercely standing for what is right, especially for our children. What? she did that afternoon was a heroic act but tuesday didn't make principal jordan a hero my my she had been a hero long before tuesday my mom had a lot of favorite sayings or life lessons as my beautiful sister would say and one of them was this a hundred years from now it will not matter what my bank account was the sort of house I lived in or the kind of car I drove. But the world may be different because I was important in the life of a child. And she had an impact on so many children, so much to the fact that State Representative Bartlett made a proclamation that January 30th will forever be Susan Jordan Day. Tomorrow, she will be buried in Henderson, Kentucky. Reporting live on the north side, Liz Adiola, RTV6.